Hello, people. Uh, if you're in Mumbai, you'd know that it's raining cats and dogs outside. And I asked myself, what is the best thing that I can do with my time? And of course, the answer is to review of uh, Superman for All Seasons, written by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale, the same creative team which uh, brought us the long Halloween. Uh, so this book is around um, 224 pages long. Uh, and um, the cover price of this book is around uh, 1100 bucks, where it was listed at Amazon at around 600 And at the time, I had a gift card lying around in my account. So I think I bought this at around the 300 250 mark, which is like ridiculous price for any trade paperback for that matter. So this book is divided into four chapters, which are named after four seasons. And hence, Superman for All Seasons is the name of the book. Uh, but um, the very interesting part of um, the, this book is that in each of these chapters, you've got one character which who is very important uh, in the Superman universe who takes on the part of um, talking to the reader uh, via inner monologue. So uh, for this uh, spring uh, chapter, we've got uh, Jonathan Kent uh, who does the the frames and uh, who does the talking basically uh, and throughout the course of the book we also then switch over to uh, Lewis Lane, Lex Luthor and I think the final, uh, the winter season I think that's taken over by Lana Lang. Uh, so straight off uh, the writing is incredible there is no doubt about that because Jeff Loeb is just such a masterful writer uh, but the the one thing that I really want to mention is that the artwork of this book is superb and it's, I think it would be unfair if the colorist was m missed out from uh, this review. So the, the name of this um, colorist, I hope I say this right, is Bajan Hansen, who's done uh, a fantastic job uh, of, you know, just bringing these incredibly well-drawn artworks uh, to life. And in fact, that's what prompted me to buy the book in the first place. Uh, I saw this book uh, at my local bookstore, um, at Landmark actually, which is at Andheri. Uh, and uh, I just flipped through a few pages. I saw those full page splashes. And I, I just I told myself, I have to go home and buy this book first thing. Uh, like I said, th there is no definite storyline to this book. In fact, I think the story is a bit secondary to uh, what... The book is trying to deal with it. It's trying to deal with how these um, these four characters uh, cope up with the concept of Superman uh, in their lives, and I think it does a beautiful job of doing that. So it's a very easy book to read, even if you're not a Superman fan. Uh, and uh, in fact, I think this is also one of uh, those books which um, you can pick up if you're new to comic books. Uh, it is very well written and the colors are just fantastic. And I think the last issue, uh, chapter, sorry, of this book, uh, which is by Lana Lang, I think that's right up there with uh, Man Without Fear, issue number five. So I really, really loved this book. I loved uh, the chapter um, by Jonathan Kent, so to speak. Uh, I love how he is he's still worried about Superman, even if uh, he can alter courses of rivers and stop a speeding bullet. But he still thinks of his as his own son. And like any normal parents, uh, they, they worry about him and they don't want harm to come to him. So that chapter was really awesome and perhaps was my favorite part of the book. Uh, and at 300 bucks, I'm, I'm really glad I went ahead and bought this. So this book is really, really awesome. I highly recommend it. And I even hope that sometime in the future we get to see a Batman for all seasons as well. That'd be interesting. Anyways, that's it for this review. I'll see you later. Bye.